Hi, thanks for tuning in to this One Cool Thing podcast on how to create quizzes in Canvas. Uh, once you're logged into Canvas and you're in your course, you'll click on quizzes on the far left and then go up to the upper right hand corner and click plus quiz. You'll give your quiz a name and then you have your quiz instructions. Now you can do a lot with these quiz construct uh, instructions. This is the H uh, the rich content editor that you would see in any other assignment. So not only do you have all the typical formatting things, but you can insert a video or other media. So say you wanted students to watch it, you could have them link to a URL, you could remove that link, you can add pictures, you can insert math equations, you have a direct ability to search YouTube or a Vimeo, you can uh, add uh, other external tools, including ARC, or uh, Google Apps, so there's all sorts of other things you can add in. You can adjust the font and so on. And then you have over here on the right, you can also link to other things. So say you have an assignment from your class, you can say this is a quiz based on assignment one, or uh, you know, link to a discussion, or anything that's on Canvas, maybe a page that you've created, you could link to it. So mixed in with all of your your writing can be links to this. So I often would provide a quiz that would follow up after a video lecture. So I would say after watching, and I would link to the video lecture, I would say now you're completing this quiz. So it's a nice way to give editing options um, for your quiz. Below that, you then will specify what kind of quiz it is. There are four different types. So you can have a practice quiz. This is basically a quiz in which students will get a grade, but it won't ever show up in the grade book. They'll never get a, any kind of grade that is associated with a grade in the class. You can have a graded quiz. This will show up on their to-do list. Um, the score that they get will be auto-graded or you'll grade it, and then it'll show up in their grade book. You can do a graded survey. So this is similar in that it'll show up on their to-do list. They will need to complete it. They'll get a grade for doing it, which you specify, um, but it's more of a survey. So there's no like grading for it. And then there's an ungraded survey, which is basically what it sounds like. It's just a survey. It doesn't show up in the grade book at all. There's no points associated with it. Now I would add almost a fifth category here, which is a graded um, quiz that doesn't count for points. So this is what I use most of the time in my classes. So I make a graded quiz that shows up on their to-do list. Like I said, it links to a previous uh, content delivery video that they've watched, but then I put it in an ungraded category. So it shows up on their to-do list. They will take it, they'll get a grade for it, but it never affects their grade in any way. And they can, like with the others, um, I let them take it multiple times. I let them take it as many times as they want. So those are some of your options for how to create the, uh, what kind of quiz you want. You have the ability to shuffle the answers. So if it's in a multiple choice, you can allow them to take multiple tries. You can let them keep either the highest or the latest or the average. And you can specify exactly how many attempts they get you can uh, either let them see their responses right away or not. Um, you can let you can say like at what point they'll be able to see their responses. You can specify that they can only see one question at a time and that once they select an option, they're locked in. You can require an access code so that even though they may click on it and access it, uh, until you give them that code, they can't actually access it. And if you wanted, you could even change this access code um, after one class has taken it before another one does. Uh, I would ignore the next two options for now. Um, watch for a respondus video, that's a separate topic. Now, you can assign it to everybody and give a specific due date. So for example, in my application, I would oft often just have students um, I would set the due date for the beginning of class. They would typically have the two days between when I saw them and when I would next see them to complete it. So I would just have the due date be 
the start of class next period. Um, you can be even more specific though. So say you want, you know, you have period two on one day and then, you know, period five on another day. So I could set the due date for period two and then I would come down here and I would add, you know, period five on the other on the other day. So you can you can specify very specifically which periods it's due, or you could just have a blanket due date and time. If you are giving this quiz in class, you can really nail down when they have access to it. So you could say not only period two today, but they only have access to it between 8.15 a.m. and 9.45 a.m. So they could see it at home, they know it's coming, they could even try clicking on it, but they will be denied access. And so if you had that code up here, you know, don't use one, two, three, four, but say you had that code, then even if they were in class, they couldn't access it until you give it to them. Now, say you have a student who is absent, they're gonna take it at a later date, you can actually pick their, find their name and assign them a different date, due date. So they're gonna make it up on the 22nd. And again, you can spell out um, the specific times that you would want them to have access to it. So that's how you navigate the settings features. Uh, there is this little button up down here, notify users this quiz has changed. So if you do make edits after the fact, um, you can send them a blast or an email notifying them. So once you are ready for your students to see the quiz, you would hit save and publish. If, as in the case right now, I haven't added any questions, I would just hit save. And if I missed a class, um, it'll tell me. So I'm going to select everyone, so this will now assign to all my other sections, and I would hit save. Okay, so watch the next video, which is, will be how to, uh, how to create questions for that quiz. All right, thanks for watching.